What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a 1v3 match for you guys here on Pantheon. I'm pretty happy right now. I had some pretty cool snipes. As you guys know, snipes is back, baby. You're going to see some cool headshots, some cool kills on a team that's lagging. Honestly, at first I was like, man, is this team really trying to like lag switch? What's going on? I don't think they were, but let me know what you guys think. It was a pretty laggy game for the most part, but I had some cool headshots clutches all that beautiful stuff so i'm not only going to tell you guys exactly why this map is difficult for 1v3s but also as to what my thought process was what the other team could have done better now here as you guys saw i went to the main middle lane and i looked over to the right i didn't see anyone there until i knew that there had to come that way and as you guys see i'm getting some cool snipes after i got the main sniper i noticed on that team i have to make sure that guy doesn't get up because i know that the other team is going to be playing around that orb now that last guy as you guys saw was freaky lag but you guys know snipes with the sniper is getting back and the weapon patch on the 14th hopefully will give that extra boost to snipers as well so i'm excited about that but you guys saw the connection right there it was pretty bad also before we get into the rest of the video i want to sneak in as you guys know we do a small giveaway in every single video for this one we're going to be giving away the last pair officially the last pair of destiny cqc control freaks remember for controlfreak.com you can use code tko for 10 percent off your purchase you guys can get those control freaks all you have to do is like this video and comment down below what your favorite part of this match was what was your favorite round anything about this match and then put hashtag destiny at the end of that comment make sure you're a subscriber so we can direct message you and that's all you got to do like the video comment below make sure you're a subscriber that simple and here as you guys know i went waterfall because the first round the team actually went to waterfall and i had to get that side angle on them so for me i'm thinking you know this team is actually going to come back and they're going to go waterfall and then they didn't they went middle lane because that's where i went so here was a little weird of a round so i see this guy here i'm trying to get a kill because i know the other team's going to collapse here you see this guy come in i'm like oh my god i am getting bloom ghost bullets with my hand cannon and then the other team comes from behind and kills me what i should have done is i should have actually rotated to that guy in advance early and as you guys know they're waving at me they either know who i am or they're talking shit right now in their head most people obviously when they see a 1v3 they're like oh guess what we're about to get a free win but this team has something else coming at them because you know your boy dropped 26 kills but see i messed up that last round i know so here i'm like okay i'm gonna go waterfall lane one more time because i feel like now they know i went this lane and boom i caught the guy off guard hit him with the headshot and here now i can rotate closer to that orb i see a guy close to that orb that i just dropped and then i noticed both of them are rotating there so i'm like okay i gotta quickly throw a grenade to slow them down and now i have my super a lot of you guys are like wait why did you use your super you know you got an orb down the reason why i use my super is because you want to use your super you don't want to hold on to it because you know that you're going to be able to get your super again in the game so if you can get up ahead especially if you have your super and if they don't have their supers boom that's a gold mine baby go kill them and get that done a lot of you guys are probably thinking yo how are these videos even going to help us out because think about it how many times are you in trials of osiris and both of your teammates go down having a mentality like this really really does work now the only main mentality that you can actually apply on any map when you're in a 1v3 is to position yourself to try to get yourself to 1v1 the other team once you 1v1 or take a person out on their team that sets you up to play that orb if you have a sniper oh look at that snipe and then pretty much move forward and once you get another orb down guard that orb and then the, you have the other team freaking out because they're like whoa this guy's you know about to do 1v3 it adds the pressure on them more so than you the biggest biggest mistake you can do let's say you're on the other team and you're 3v1ing right the biggest mistake you can do is split away from your team you want to approach that guy together at the same time, you want to make sure that you block his lanes. And there you saw me get out sniped. So right then and there, as soon as that guy sniped me, I'm like, okay, this guy has a pretty decent shot. You know, we both were exchanging. Look at that lag, guys. If this isn't like beating laggers, I don't know what it is. But every time i'm about to die the game gets super laggy i was definitely concerned about this but now i know that i need to kill that warlock that warlock is going to have a good sniper shot on me and once i take him out i can really approach the other guys so here as i'm approaching this lane 
I want to make sure that I can take somebody out before I push to the guy on bottom. I'm not able to do so and then boom you guys see me take out that warlock and right away I'm like okay I gotta go and make sure I guard this orb. I know the guy's up top. I don't know where he's coming from. I get him to whiff his smash here. I knew he had a smash, so I was backpedaling. And look at that. I don't know if that's Bloom or... Also, keep that that right there doesn't make sense to me. He should have died there. I said, okay, let's not worry about it. I came back. Boom, hit the Warlock. Killed him one more time. And then I killed the other guy with my last word. Last guy's approaching me. Boom, killed him as well. I'm feeling hyped right now. Inside my head, I'm feeling like Tom Brady winning his fifth ring. Also, I am not a Patriots fan. I'm not a Falcons fan either, but bet I was rooting for the Falcons to win that game. I cannot believe they pulled off that crazy, insane clutch comeback. Pretty much like you're seeing in this game. But honestly, man, uh, hate aside, good job. I know Tom Brady's one of the greatest. I just, as a Seahawks fan, it hurts. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm hurting for the Falcons. All right, anyways, uh, let me know who, what your guys' picks were for the Super Bowl. I'm actually really curious about that as well. But there you go. Once again, kill the Warlock. That's my main target. You got to understand the best person on the other team. Once you take out that person on the team, then you can start approaching this game in a more aggressive manner. Now, here I have my super. I'm thinking, okay, you know what i killed the guy to the left i can go over to the right i was really contemplating using my super here because i was like you know what i could kill these guys easily get a double kill and i'd be good now i knew he was going to the get that orb main thing bait those orbs guys and here i almost messed up and i was gonna pull my super out he killed me and then he screwed up because he was really excited. You know, he got carried over with his Nova Bomb and he got thrown off the map. Now I'm feeling confident because that Nova Bomb is gone. I was baited those smashes. Those things are gone. Here I have my Arc Warlock one more time and I can really put in work. Now, here you also want to keep in mind is you're at an advantage because the other team now doesn't have supers and you do. So I'm going to guess that they're going to go water lane. I was actually wrong about that. Then I push up. I'm like, okay, I do see someone to the right. I don't know how he got behind me, but now I know that I'm in a bad spot because they're crowding around me, right? That's what they're doing. They're hounding me as a team. So I have to go pick up one guy by myself, body shot him, hit the last word really fast. And I turn around and I know that warlock is going to be approaching. So I headshot him right away. His grenade lands perfectly on me. Now I just noticed that this guy most likely has a super. He was the only one that didn't use his super. So boom, I bait his smash. And this round, guys, honestly, I felt like that should have gone to me. My melee was so, so short. Low. I don't understand what the hell happened, but and the green it was green bar I don't know. Maybe it was red right before it showed up But here I'm feeling really confident now. I have my super all of their supers are gone It's gonna be very difficult for them to get their supers They can't camp in the back and scory So I was gonna tell you guys why it's difficult This map is difficult for 1v3 because the other team can actually just camp and get their supers and scory and It sucks. It really does suck maps like these where you can just guard lanes from your spawn and just camp back That's why that's what makes the map horrible in my opinion so here i see the warlock again i'm like okay i gotta make sure i kill this warlock before anything so i just push the guy to the right i know that warlock's by himself now i know that this guy's by himself almost screwed that up and honestly they need to remove bloom on hand cannons i'm gonna be very excited when that happens here i see a guy coming i'm like okay you know what time to use my super i wanted to save it for next round because i got that kill but it's okay you know being up four two on these guys and knowing that they don't have supers I'm confident in myself to be able to snipe them and last word them and kill them and all that beautiful stuff. So here I'm feeling really confident, guys. 4-2, we're doing work as a team. Not really because I'm by myself. But I really hope that videos like these really help you out. This last round, I just want to end this game fast because they will get their supers if they kill me here. And I don't want that to happen. So here you'll see me playing very, very aggressive. The point is that when you get to middle lane, you want to get there as fast as possible. If you don't get there fast, then they're going to get there and then they'll pretty much just be hard scoping that lane and kill you here i see the freaking warlock and i'm like yes i missed the titan and i got the warlock that's exactly what i wanted to do now i can push this guy through a grenade i see that it hurt him so i'm like you know what i can push this guy there's a guy coming behind me as well i missed my shot I, he's really 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 aggressive right now now i see this guy coming body shot hit him with the melee thank god i didn't die he was really trying to come at me fast and now i'm like where is this guy and i noticed he came across and he 
could have killed me if I contested one more time. But here, I'm like, you know what? I can't let this guy get in position and get those orbs. So I hit him with the melee, or not the melee, but the body shot. And then I just waved a little style ending for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was Snipes playing. Last week was my brother with the 1v3. We're going to keep coming this, getting these videos out to you guys, as well as trial strategy. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and follow us on Twitter, at RealTKOGaming. I love you guys so much. Dropping 26 kills. And we're here to make the TKO family grow. And we're here to have you guys join us in on streams and all that beautiful stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.